it's Old Man Coffee, and I want to welcome you back to my channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Well, it's Thursday, October 21st, and that's Trooper Thursday. Yeah, and uh, if you think for one moment that I don't appreciate the Trooper or what he's done for me, uh, you're wrong, okay? Yeah, so when I say it's Thursday night poker at the Westgate, I'm not at any time am I putting Trooper Thursday down, okay? So let's uh, let's get that clear, all right? If anybody thought that, you're absolutely wrong, all right? Trooper's a good friend of mine, and he always will be. So anyway, let's get into the Westgate and get that Trooper Thursday game going. Now the APA is in town, so there's going to be a lot of players, a lot of action. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, we're going to play the uh, Thursday free slot play tournament. So, uh, let's see how that goes. Well, not looking so good. Not normal. Oh well. Okay, well that was it. Game over. No good. Okay, well I got my free $25 chip play in the table games. Right here. So, according to one of the followers of my blog, who leaves comments, always bet on black. And that's what we're going to do. Wish us luck. Well, that was my last $25 free play. And guess what? Yep, came up red. Oh well, what are you going to do? So we won one out of four attempts. One black. One red, a green, and then a red. That's the way it goes. Well, normally I would go into poker hands right now. But unfortunately, there wasn't any poker hands, really. It was a really bad night for poker for me. Uh, I didn't even record anything. So, uh... What I'm going to show you now is helping out a friend that uh, just moved to Vegas in a RV, a little camp trailer, and they needed solar panels installed on the camp trailer. So I volunteered, well, I'm getting compensated, but I uh, volunteered to install the solar panels for them and also uh, install a generator a portable generator for them so what you're going to see now is the culmination of a week's worth of work and what i'm going to do is i'm going to narrate it and try to keep it as simple and as short as i possibly can and again i apologize for no poker hands but uh, sometimes that happens uh, i ended up winning three dollars that night and there was no poker hands to even show you it was a pretty bad night uh, winning three dollars yeah so it's a break-even night for trooper thursday that was last thursday last trooper thursday and uh, now we'll get into the solar panel installation and i tell you it was a lot of work i am really sore i just finished it up this morning mounted the last panel uh this morning and putting this video together for you and then get it up so uh i hope you enjoy and i hope you learn something from it
Well, because I have a small camp trailer, it's just uh, 20 feet long, we decided to go with the 200 watt expandable to 400 watt kit from Windy Nation. This would probably work pretty well for them. Well, when it arrived, one of the panels was broken. It was no fault of Windy Nation. I called Windy Nation. Right away, they said they'd send me a new panel. And that one took about four days, to, because it was a weekend, it took about four days to get it. Uh, but we got the, four, the panel, and but I was able to complete all the installation except installing that one panel. Now here's the installation complete on the roof. And I'll walk you through how I wired this system up. Those two wires going into the vent for the refrigerator go down the refrigerator opening, staying away from the coils as much as possible. Now, the coils don't really get so hot that they would cause a problem, but um, we didn't want to get them too close. Also, I installed these two vent covers for them, and that was a uh, you know, just an added little job I had to do. Now the wires going down there, the refrigerator compartment. Now I drilled a hole in the refrigerator compartment and ran the two wires from the solar panel, positive and negative, down through that hole. Now that hole actually empties out into the compartment behind the fuse panel. That's where all the power is located on this unit. And so I had to pull that panel out. So I ran the wires down through the access hole for all the power for this unit. The two black wires I'm holding right there are the solar panel plus and negative wires. The red and black wires there are the battery wires. And I'll go into how I installed the battery, battery wires here in just a minute. Let's finish up the solar panel installation first. And then I drilled a hole up through the floor of the camp trailer and ran the solar panel wires up through there. There's where they come into the camp trailer and ran the two black wires on the left there up to the charge controller. At the charge controller, I did not actually insert the solar panel wires until after the battery wires were connected. So now I'll go into how I install the battery wires. Now the battery wires are the two center wires, they're the red and the black. I ran them down back through that hole in the floor. And then after they go through the hole in the floor, they come out the bottom and I have to wire tie them all the way across because that's going to be this power supply so I've got to connect that to the battery side of the service panel so I'll show you how I did that so I had to remove the covers to the service panel and pull the service panel out so I could get access to the wiring is behind it. Now with the service panel removed I can see the access hole where all the wires have been coming up through and the red and black positives right there and they are connected to the positive side of the service panel and the negative side of the service panel. So now with the batteries Connected to the charge controller, I was able to hook up the solar panels and see what the output is and 13 volts, pretty good for two panels and 2.8 amps, pretty good for two panels. Now that could be expandable to four panels, which would increase that quite a bit. Well, they wanted a thousand watt inverter installed, so I connected it to the load side of this charge controller 
and you can scroll through on this charge controller and it will tell you what amount of amperage is being drawn by whatever load you have on it also too you can set the load off and the load on voltages so that you don't run the batteries down i like this charge controller by windy nation i'm really satisfied with mine now in addition to the solar panels they wanted a 3500 watt generator installed so we had to buy a rack for that and install that generator on the back of that rv well i hope you enjoyed that video i know it wasn't what you were expecting but uh with my lifestyle the way it is right now uh probably going to be a little bit less poker uh, it's getting on to winter time now cooling down where i can get some traveling in so i'm going to do some traveling like i did last year and go down to laughlin i'll play, play some poker down there and maybe i'll do some videos on that poker in laughlin uh, and then maybe on down to quartzite uh, who knows uh, get some traveling in get some more videos of the rv more of that uh, RV lifestyle instead of being stuck in one spot. Well, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it very much. And subscribe. I need all the subscriptions I can get <laughs> and the thumbs up too. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And again, I want to thank these folks here, the supporters of my channel. Uh, without them, I wouldn't do this and I really apologize to you guys I didn't get a video up sooner but I hope you enjoyed this one so this would be old man coffee saying dream until your dreams come true and I'll see you next time